Well, it's us again. It's the first cut. And Mitchell. Mitchell. Uh, a little early for our guests yeah, to speak, we don't... but that's okay. I just... You know, somehow I knew this was going to happen. It was just an empty gap of space. We, like... That's our show, Mitchell. <laughs> really, I'm doing you a favor. He's, he's in music buffs mode. <sighs> Good evening, Milligan College! You I'm Noah Parker. No. And I'm Aaron Donovan. And I'm Noah Parker. <laughs> and I'm Aaron Donovan. Pick for yourself which one is which. For the record, we did try to get a BuzzFeed quiz up for the fresh cut, <laughs> like we promised a couple weeks ago, but we're having problems with <laughs> the pictures. What was it? To determine if you're Donovan. more fresh or cut. Oh, I thought it would be more Noah or Aaron. That's what it really is. Oh, which one of you is fresh? What should we decide? And which one is cut? Well, what are... <laughs> I, don't, I guess I'm we'd have to look into, like, the definitions. I guess we have to take the quiz. Erin is, by definition, more fresh because she was born after me. <laughs> so I guess I'm just a lame old cut. <laughs> we tried to make the BuzzFeed quiz, spent a whole work study doing it. Then it would not let us upload a... What picture was it? Listen, we're like stalling. Can, can, can you talk for a sec? I'm okay. ju- actually no, tweeting, tweeting out that we're live. So I'll stall. So Story made a great quiz, tried to upload it, said I needed a picture, would not let me upload a picture, tried the next day, still wouldn't work. Then I did. I tried to log in on a different computer, accidentally couldn't log in, thought I reset my password, it's still not working. So now I've logged myself out of that account, <laughs> and we have no way of accessing it. And now we're anti BuzzFeed. <laughs> and this was this was during your work study? Yep. <laughs> Let's not talk about <laughs> I'm glad our good Milligan taxpayer dollars are going That to, was study. To I, this is a class, studies. Mitchell. <laughs> I was doing that for my class radio. It was the I, study section of work study. Yeah. I was helping him study. Yeah. Didn't you have fake plants to to water in? I have fake plants to water. They're right out there. Anyways, we haven't introduced you, Mitchell, so <laughs> back off. <laughs> Every time you talk, I'm cutting another ten minutes off of the <laughs> section that you're allowed to talk, which I guess doesn't really work if you're already talking. Anyways, here we are today. What have we done already? Uh, follow us at, on Twitter at Noah and Aaron, the Fresh Cut. I mean, not it's that's not Noah yeah and Noah and Aaron. And, and if then, you want to find us on BuzzFeed, I put our name as Noah and Aaron. <laughs> But we have no nothing. content, <laughs> just Which like our radio about. show. <laughs> we're gonna make the same joke. Oh, we hate our show apparently. <laughs> and uh, on YouTube, we're also the Fresh Cut. But if you look that up, you're just gonna find other stuff. So you have to put the Fresh Cut, and then maybe Noah and Aaron, or something. just you have to type in a lot of Milligan-related stuff. Or else you're gonna watch a lot of people get haircuts. <laughs> yeah, which is fine. <laughs> if that's what you're. Into. That was our original idea for this show. Anyways, it's Christmas. <laughs> it's finally Christmas. Do you want to rap the Justin Bieber rap that we talked I about? I d- haven't seen that. You don't know that song? The Busta Rhymes? No, okay, I, I'm i uncultured. It's it's Drummer Boy, but rap... R- <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, our, our producer, producer <laughs> Caleb Perney. You know, I actually was considering at the beginning of this... Because I've been planning this Christmas show a long time. Y'all. But I was considering, like, asking if I could put these lights out. But I was like, no, that'd be a lot of work. But now Caleb Perney is putting these up. So now there are Christmas lights up. That's good. It's making a lot of noise. I'll take pictures. Thank you, Caleb. You've really made this Christmas a one to remember. A one. Oh, yeah, Mitchell Hancock's here. (laughs) Do you want to explain why we're having... Mitchell on the day of the Christmas kins- Christmas special? Well, you always say that it's because you had a Christmas special on Music Buffs Live, but I, yep. I've i always found that a stretch, that like Mitchell just seems like a fun guest to have for Christmas to me, oh. if we're being honest. <laughs> I, I thought that he, he like exuded the essence of Christmas. No. I wouldn't say that. Jolly. <laughs> I, guess I, I don't think I'm jolly enough. Are you a pretty jolly fellow? Yeah, I could have. If, if that's what I was going for, I probably would have gone for like you Nick don't have Baylor. Red hair, though. You're the heat meister. This is perfect that you're here for the Christmas special. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and that's our show. Merry Christmas also, and have a good New Year's. Christmas. I know that's terrible. It's really not, not that either. terrible. That's why a lot of people don't like holidays. Grumpy. 
Also, Christmas is a time of seasonal depression, so it makes sense that you wouldn't enjoy it. Yeah, it's a time where we pretend to be happy. A lot of people actually don't enjoy it. But we're enjoying tonight. Yay! So, um, we've got some Christmas conspiracies. Uh, we've got a Christmas guest, Mitchell, <laughs> and Caleb Perny's here. And we, uh... I wanted to start with some caroling, but I didn't actually get anyone to carol because I've been super busy. Even though I've had the idea to do a Christmas show all semester, I did not plan for it at all. So call in at 423-461-8464. I repeat, 423-461-8464 if you'd like to sing to us a little bit. I'll tell my family. They're very dedicated <laughs> oh, no. radio would they, would they sing to us? Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Check their lyrics out. first. Well, and, um, as long as it's not Kylie. <laughs> also, come on down to, if you're on Milligan campus, then which is where we broadcast this, if you're some stranger who accidentally uh, Jason, fell on her on keyboard down. and <laughs> and accidentally typed in milliganradio.com and clicked on the link, <laughs> and you're actually just listening to this, but you live in Toledo, uh, we're from Milligan College. So, uh, yeah. Or somebody could be, Jason somebody Ox, could if, be road trip. Feel free to come by. What? What if somebody? Yeah, if you're road tripping, tripping, come on down. We're so small; it's so easy to find us. But I mean, like people road tripping, just like searching for radio stations. Oh. You, I actually, I do that. I look for, I scan through radio stations when I'm in the car going somewhere. All right, Mitchell. This is uh. Why did you? This even, is four twenty three, aka Christmas, not four twenty. So let's talk about let's stop talking about tripping and get talking about Christmas. Um, Is that my do we, cue? Yeah, I think so. All right. Well, I have one so far. Okay. <laughs> there's another one, but there's a lot of words so I haven't read it yet. The sun seems uh, reliable. Bad for your elf. That's a clever title. No one says anything. Okay. This sinister fan theory about Christmas film Elf is guaranteed to ruin it for you forever. Is this another <laughs> just reading <laughs> the conspiracies night? Yep. Uh, listen, I, I had a busy night, Noah. Yeah, actually... Uh, Part of the reason I've been busy this week is I've been working on a student film that Aaron was my assistant director, and uh, former freshies Daniel Peacock and Kristen Branch were stars, so... This Friday, short film fest, I'm also in another one. Yeah, I mean, we're... uh, I'm not going to advertise it yet. I haven't edited it yet, so I don't know if it sucks or not. Well, I was assistant director, so I know it doesn't suck. You're only there for, like, a third of it. Well, you filmed on a day I couldn't go. My bad. (laughs) Christmas time. Let's hear some elf. All right. So uh, I just had a voice crack and I dress it and move forward. In the, the movie Elf, we all know Buddy, the main character, and some people have questioned Buddy's innocence because he's kind of a dummy. All right. No one's saying anything. No one's questioned that. <laughs> yes. You've never questioned dummy. that? Dummy. You've never questioned how, like, he doesn't know anything? He, you know what? He actually does seem a little dumber than the other elves. But he's a human, so it's like, what the heck? And so when, uh, the scene that made some Reddit u- user... I figured it was Reddit. just because the elves were, like, naturally smarter, like in Lord of the Rings. I've they seem a lot Lord wiser. Oh. <laughs> well, uh... Moving forward. It's about what, jewelry. I think, I think he's smart, just in a different way. Jolly yeah, that's true. He's just... Mitchell. He's very special. practical. All right. I'm trying to do a conspiracy theory. It might here, actually y'all. be a film about mental illness. <laughs> I'm laughing because I took the mic away from Noah, but in reality, I didn't do much. So, the scene that set off some re- Reddit user was that um, in, like, the middle of the movie, when Buddy hears Zoe Deschanel character singing, he goes into the locker room. <laughs> Bye, Mitchell. <laughs> okay. Why did you move? <laughs> I just, I didn't have enough leg room. And I thought if Amy's not coming after all, then I can sit over here. Is Amy Long not coming? She said she had dinner at 6. And I said, she said she would come afterwards if she could. When she gets here, I'll move over. All right. So. All right, now that we've spoiled, <laughs> bonus guest. <laughs> well, if they're true fans, I'll know she comes on every three weeks. That's true. It is the time. Don't worry, Mitchell. Uh, <laughs> she found love last time, so we're not going to set you okay. on like... Wait, who did she find love with? I don't remember. Moffitt. Oh. You're the worst. Just, remember their children? I was kidding. <laughs> yes, they have 12 yeah, children. Yeah, so now. was I. 12. 
Mitchell, let's hear your best lawnmower noise. <laughs> Oh, You're on right. the fresh cut, you fresh cut me like a lawnmower this. cut. I, I, you actually got an advance warning. You did. I did. What? Um, all right. Keep in mind it's Christmas, so there's snow on the ground in this particular. Uh, Why are you cutting the grass if there's snow on the ground? The grass is still really long. Okay. All right. Oh, and like you haven't used your your lawnmower in a while, right? Or maybe maybe so you got it for Christmas. Maybe. Either way, it, it doesn't. It doesn't like. It doesn't turn on right away. Like you when you pull the lever, or like the string. Oh, so you're doing Just a like my positive attitude. This is, I, I don't know. You get I, to pick. I think oh, is so. That fancy. I I've, I have a sit one. I've mostly used a push one. Oh, I've never used. When you so say like, you have a, do you mean like your family has <laughs> a sit one, or do you like she literally in your dorm have a? <laughs> I don't have a car, but I did buy myself she keeps a it under her bed. Uh, my bed is lofted. <laughs> I guess that helps. Do you have to get a special parking pass for that? I just make sure Brianna's asleep when I drive in. Uh, good. <laughs> the RA lives across the hall from me. But she hasn't got on yet. All right. Okay. So, like, imagine You're stalling. it's the middle of winter, and you haven't used your lawnmower in a while. So it's, like, it's not, it's not at its peak condition. So it takes a little bit to turn on. It's but neither are you because of season. It's turning on. Mm-hmm. That and then <laughs> there it is. And then it stops immediately because it's too cold to mow your lawn. Yeah, I didn't hear any yep. snow going. <laughs> <through the laughs> what does ah. it sound like when you mow snow? You mow snow? <laughs> well, the snow muffles mow it. No, no problem. <laughs> mow snow. No mo. No mo snow. <laughs> That's what I was trying to get out. Oh. Huh. The, well, the snow muffles it, doesn't it? So it's. Well, you. <laughs> for the record, I compile all of these for the official uh, Fresh Cut ASMR playlist. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Where are we? Oh, That's also, all I got. you know our game, band name, baby name, stripper I do. name. Yell out at any time. Okay. You know what I realized? Since he's here, we lo- definitely lost a listener. Oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, and That's my fine. mom hasn't texted back that she's listening. So hopefully Jason Ox is listening. <laughs> People have lost their interest in the fresh cut. I thought it would be better after Lent, but it's not. It's been worse. <laughs> What did Lent that? have to do with it? I thought some people might have given up radio for Lent. Oh, yeah. People gave up radio for life, it turns out. Well, they, they're just very committed to their to their fast. They're, oh, that's they're true. Like, they're like super, super Christian, super Catholics. The people that do Lent, they're super those kinds of people. I mean, there's some Christians that do it, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure my, bro- my brother did. We're no longer Catholic. Yeah. Fun facts about the Jonathan family. <laughs> All right, back to Buddy the Elf. I finished reading it, so I don't have to read it word the for word. The Jonathan family? Donovan. I think so. Continue. Fun facts about Buddy the Elf. <laughs> okay, so Buddy the Elf looks at Zoe. He, like, goes in the bathroom while Zoe Deschanel's character is showering. Haha, ha, Buddy's so silly. He doesn't know that she's going to be naked. That's a lie. Because earlier in the movie, you see him very uncomfortably showering because he's too big for it. So he knows what a shower is and he says that he didn't know that she was uh I didn't know you were naked in the shower but it's a huge shower that she's you, in but I, so maybe he didn't realize it was the same thing all right, listen, all right you should know this by now I mean it's possible he it was like a cultural thing where he assumed you just got naked at the north pole because it gets so <laughs> warm there <laughs> so when you shower it's, stick to math okay it's a cultural so, thing <laughs> yeah Buddy the Elf knows that people get naked in the shower, so he was kind of just trying to peep on the on the hot girl. I don't actually remember her name. But when he was in the shower in the opening scene, was he naked or was he fully clothed? In the he shower? was naked. As the Southerns would say, naked. At least his top no. half. We're assuming. Sir. Let top me half. tell the conspiracy theory, y'all. <sighs> Rude. Just kidding. And so I didn't know our, our Christmas <laughs> promo has been on. The, I, I, I forgot about it, so I assume no one put it up there. How I cool. didn't until this afternoon. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'll play it after as like a little fresh cut bonus. My uncle just liked my text, so Uncle Anthony might be tuning in. So, there's other moments in the film where Buddy's kind of like 
it, he goes a little too far in his uh, in being naive. So like he injures a ton of children on their way home from school with the snowball fight. He they were aggressive though. Okay, he's a grown man. No, what? I'll ask you what you think it afterwards. <sighs> Look, Mitchell's been a negative influence on you. Um, I think Brent was the more <laughs> negative influence. Stopped our show for ten minutes of Willy Wonka fan fiction. <laughs> Which I've not been in an Elsa musical. Okay, um, he. Were you in Willy Wonka the musical? Yes. Okay. She's been in like half of the musicals. That's <laughs> true. Um, he uses his obsession with syrup to get super drunk on the job, and he uses his so-called innocence to verbally abuse a man with a disability. What kind of ads are they giving you? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I didn't choose them. <laughs> so, he concludes that Bunny... No, Buddy is not the Bunny. man... You, <laughs> is, Bunny. It's not the man you all thought. He is a demented man-child that's using his innocence to live out sick fantasies of abuse and sexual desire. Well, he has daddy issues, so... What are your thoughts? Freud. <laughs> now, this is when you speak. What well, are your thoughts? Oh, you had so many thoughts before. I got them out. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing? Agree? Disagree? I mean, he should know better, but I won't hold it against him. He had that whole journey through the candy canes and stuff. So it's a consi- conspiracy theory, in essence, we found a continuity error in the film, so therefore we're going to reinterpret the entire film off of that one scene. Yeah, it's not a continuity <laughs> error so much as a plot hole, but we're Whatever not... Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Let's not a film t- just because we planned our show like the hour before, Caleb, doesn't mean you have to <laughs> criticize our conspiracies. Half of our conspiracies are like, maybe this person's not dead. <laughs> That's actually 75% of our conspiracies. <laughs> All right. Um, another conspiracy that theory. That was good. Yeah. That was, Thanks. yeah. I just wonder, why didn't, why didn't other people tell him that that was wrong? Like, he should be held accountable, definitely. But, like, let's also use this as a teaching opportunity. Like, yeah, she still went on a date with yeah, him later. Yeah, we can't do these things. She did. That's uh. They got married and had children. Yeah, they did. Her name's Jovi. <laughs> Thanks. That is Jovi. There in the go. in that thing, it was just Zoe Deschanel's character. That wasn't very well written. Then the son. Mm-mm. Batfan fifty four. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Reddit username. <laughs> I forget that it's the same We're Zoe Deschanel today. that is in New Girl. Have in you watched Elf. last week's episode? No. This you isn't New Girl Club. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. And she um, sings. With some other guy. Yeah. Called She and Him. Mm-hmm. They're pretty good. Music Buffs Live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's actually Robert Pattinson that she oh. sings with. Music Buffs Live! What? Really? No. No. <laughs> All right, let's go <laughs> on to our next one, and I'm going to be nice and quiet. All right, so um, there's a man called Santa Claus. That <laughs> <laughs> I know him! Santa! <laughs> Clever. Thanks. Well done. Thanks. Um, and so, it is rumored, um, his name is originally Chris Kringle, he was given up for adoption, like, left on the side of the road, and a bunch of elves adopted him into their family. He Wait, okay, I'm sorry, it just occurred to me that, that that's why he adopted Buddy. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Everyone, can cons- please consider adoption, you might end up adopting Santa Claus. <laughs> or a deranged man child <laughs> who wants to fill out <laughs> fulfill his sexual pl- fantasies sexual what? desires and abuse that one 50 yeah. 50 you never know <laughs> <laughs> but do consider it yes um and so he was adopted into this family and then they made all the toys um for the toy meister but eventually that town like the where the toy meister was in charge banned toys and so he started um, delivering the toys to the kids if they were good um, by hiding them in their stockings. So that's where we get our stockings from because they had them up on there. So far, this isn't a conspiracy theory so I'm much ex- as I'm the plot of a movie. <laughs> Listen, I'm considering multiple stories in my head right now. I'm intertwining all of them. Okay. <laughs> you can't operate on the levels <laughs> she's working on right now. You don't understand how many Christmas movies I've seen. Okay, back to me. 
So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Chris Kringle starts hiding the toys, falls in love with the teacher, yada, yada, yada. And then he becomes, after, I think it's after the Winter Warlock, he becomes, like, gets, gets some magic, that's how the reindeer fly. He becomes Santa Claus and delivers toys to children all around the world. But some people say it's fake. Haters going to say it's fake. What do you think? <laughs> Mitchell's back. It has to be I real. Saw, I saw the movie. Yeah. Which, which movie? I mean, well, I imagine it was a documentary. I think it had more of that vibe to it. The one about Santa Claus. Gotcha. Rudolph? <laughs> <laughs> what is everyone's no, favorite? No, that one's about movie? Rudolph. Yeah, I'm thinking of a claymation one mostly right now. Some of those are really weird. Yeah, I was thinking about that one too. The claymation yeah, one? Santa Claus Santa is Cla- to the town. That's the film that that plot line is from. And then there's another one, but I don't remember it. Well, there's like a the start out as a, with a skinny, beardless Santa Claus. That's what I'm talking about. Also, how did he his name change from Chris Kringle to Santa Claus? <sighs> well, I mean... I know this. It's not like the easiest process, but like... Santa there are ways like to Saint. change your name legally. <laughs> My wife did it when we got married. It was actually a bit of a hassle. We almost didn't make it to school this year because of... We were on the purge list, which wasn't as fun as it sounded. <laughs> JD, tell me he's been on the purge list every semester since he's been here. That is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's also, so, that is maybe information he didn't want said on the radio. He thought it was funny. Yeah, well, so we tried to get him on here. No, also, how did no. you end up on the purge list because of your wife's name? Because, because of the difficulties of her changing her name, it... There were, like, other forms that that kind of, like, blocked us from submitting until, like, she could legally change, like, driver's license and stuff, and that was needed, and I don't remember how exactly, but, like, I had some form that required her new name, so. So if you're a ringer by Springer, (laughs) make sure you, if you're Jerry Springer, make sure you get married, like, in June and not July if you're attending college in the fall. Are you... So you're calling yourself a ring by Springer? I'm not. I'm, that? That's more for the up-and-coming students. They're okay. pretty... They're hipper. They're fresher than I am. So... Nope, you're the fresh cut. So then, two years ago when you did propose, then were you a ring by Springer? I mean... I think it was during spring. <laughs> but you're I had already been up. with her for like two years. Yeah. So I don't think that counts. If you okay. propose during college... I'm I not sure. It counts. Yeah. Because it's spring by spring semester. I've never been I mean, we're educated. pretty happy, so... I've, I I've haven't been, a critique. Yeah, no, that's... I'm happy for you. Yeah, I love Corinne. And I wish she would call in right now. I really need her right <laughs> now. Corinne, this is no critique on you, but we're just... Why is, why is this Christmas special my marriage special? Remember when we tried to figure out what your vows were? <laughs> I don't have any vows. We use the generic ones. Well, you couldn't even remember which... <laughs> Is this Corinne or my family? <laughs> did Bush say this or a child? It's not me this time. You, did you press the wrong button? Hello? Did you hang up? This is my jam. It only rang once before I picked it up. Please don't turn that dial all the way up. You're going to well, make everyone be, deaf. <laughs> that's actually my subplot for being here. Um, the next conspiracy theory I have is pretty political, but, you know, Noah always gets to do the political stuff, so I thought I would finally take a crack at it. Minus the time I I just shove it in my games. <laughs> shove Jesus in their ears. Oh. So, there is a conspiracy theory that there's a war on Christmas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so there's some some sub conspiracy theories with the war on Christmas. One of them is that public schools have banned the colors red and green. They're actually kind of ugly together. Wait, just to, they banned them together? Or like red and green are both separately banned? Like they're both on the no colors list. <laughs> they're. I think of them both. Just ones. together. Like yeah, like you can't wear. Okay. To celebrate it. So you can wear red and blue. Yes. As long as okay, I just wanted to make sure I understand. Um, but this was. But then you'd be a confused gang member. Hey, if I'm fighting a war on Christmas, <laughs> I just want to know who my enemy I is. I want the Bloods and the Crips on my side. 
Also, I'm not confused because I have blue hair, so I don't want to be a part of a gang, but I'll figure this out later. Um, but the school that started this said that that's not true. So that conspiracy theory was debunked. <laughs> Quick. Uh, <laughs> Some whip, whiplash. Um, another one is that public schools can't recognize Christmas anymore. This is kind of true, kind of not. Um, you can't, like, bring the religious aspect into it, but you can do winter and holiday stuff at public schools. Private schools can do whatever the heckity they want. I think it's called inclusivity because other people exist. (laughs) Unless they're in Carter County, then they just do whatever they want regardless. At my high school, we had a Christmas tree, and that was huge, and then a tiny little um, menorah next to it. We we just celebrated Christmas too. I think producer Kayla Perney has a point in that the uh, the places where people are concerned that there's a war on Christmas, I think often do not have such laws that are preventing Christmas from. Or, no, they just they just don't follow it based upon the culture. The South is wild to me, so I don't know how y'all do everything. Ugh. Hey, you there's no go? war on Christmas. Yeah. Thanks. I had a teacher in sixth grade that had a uh, a tree that she decorated for every holiday. My sweet mates for next year want to do that. It was pink. <laughs> it was pink. <laughs> in case your sweet mate is pink. <laughs> <laughs> it's great that she's getting you, a degree. Can you I call guess. her an it? Our producer went to uh, shut the blinds because I'm being blinded. Our producer's All right, now we're good. Oh my gosh, I I can see so much better now. I know that doesn't <laughs> affect you. And at last, listeners. I see yeah. the light. If you want to call in for our Christmas special and sing carols to us, four two three four six one eight four six four. I like. Let's see. Please do not do one ring and then leave us. I need time to adjust mentally. We don't want that kind. Our producer's making scary lights right now. <laughs> All right. If, if someone had epilepsy, they definitely would have had a seizure by now. Rude. Don't don't put them in a box. Almost definitely. Hello? Yeah, is Aaron there? Uh, Aaron is, is this here. Uncle Anthony? Hey, Aaron. Hi, Uncle Anthony. When are we going to get to these uh, Christmas songs? We what did you say? Are you song or are you playing some songs? We're not. They're not singing today. We're just talking. Oh, let's try that Colby Calliot. You ever heard of her? I have heard of her. Do you want me to Put sing that Christmas in the Sand song on? It's Christmas in the summer. You said. You know that's a really good point. Um, I'll see if our music library has that. We have a very odd selection right. of music. It's off the chart. You could sing it for us. No, I can't. <laughs> Colby. <laughs> K-L-I-T, C-A-I-L-L-A-T. Why don't you get Cody or Jake to sing it? No, they're not here. Jake's at lax and Cody's picking up branches for the neighbor. <laughs> hey, Nicole, you guys have a rockin' Christmas night. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey, uh, Thanks bye. for calling in. All right, we have a request for Christmas in the Sand. But I'm not singing it. <laughs> Christmas in the Sand. By Colby Calais. Never heard it. Maybe I have. Well, okay. I don't well, know. While Aaron looks up to see if we have that song. Wait, it's over there. Yeah, I was going to switch places with you because I don't know how okay. to do it. Considering that I've never heard of it, I doubt that it's there. <laughs> Anthony, we're Consider- checking for you. Considering it's I cannot Calais, express it's enough to there. the to the listeners how difficult it is for us to switch seats right now. Yeah, I'm doing hard work. Most of our Christmas music. Can I have my phone, Aaron? One by one. That's great. Um, <laughs> so oh great uh, radio. Great. Can I have my phone? <laughs> so uh, while she's looking for that, Mitchell, do you remember? Oh, we're talking about the war on Christmas. We were. More like the snore on Christmas. Am I right? Got him. More like. Uh, yeah. Find some new like content. <laughs> we have two songs by Colby Clay. We have Try. That's a newer song. And we also have Lucky by Jason Mraz featuring Colby Clay. Uncle Anthony, I'm very sorry, but we don't have your song. I don't know how loud I have to yell from over here. Not really loud. Well, I bet people can hear Caleb if they have the volume turned up high enough. All right, sorry for yelling in everyone's ears. 
Caleb could just sit up in the fourth chair. Here. Do you want to switch back? Cause I don't That's for Amy. Stuff. I don't. Mm. Oh, you fixed. Mm. All right. Well, do you want to switch back? Yeah. This is like a waste <laughs> of time. Anyways, um. Did you have a game? We're about thirty minutes in. Yeah. Oh. Sure. Okay. That was uh, <laughs> some classic fresh cut, <laughs> butt touching, <laughs> not intentional, not. <laughs> Not, not my favorite <laughs> use of our time. <laughs> We're gonna play a game now. It's, there's not a lot of space back here. <laughs> there's not. It's quite the the, the fresh squeeze. Don the the, Smith, if you're listening, fix this. Remember, um, my choice. This would be over there. In your office? Yeah, and my office would be in here because there's no reason to have that big of a room for me just to sit, and there's no reason to have this small of a room for all these people. It's Thank like you for talking about purely visual <laughs> things, Caleb <laughs> Perney. Yeah, well. to our to our viewers, um, over there is the room we're not in, and in here is referring to the room that we are in. First, and I'm this conversation <laughs> is referring to. My least favorite show ever. <laughs> Someone call in with uh, Santa Baby, please. <laughs> Wait, do you dislike Music Box Live more, or do you dislike um, the Lunch Group more? <laughs> There's no question. Oh, you still still have doubts. Of course the Lunch Crew. Okay, just wanted to make sure. It's like listening to one of those like garbage disposals. Do your best garbage disposal sound. <laughs> All right. That was pretty good. Have you practiced? And this that? is one with snow. <laughs> <laughs> garbage disposal. That could be a cool band name. <laughs> well, garbage is already a band name. Not so. a very good stripper name. <laughs> well, terrible baby name. Terrible baby name. Um, I mean, it's fine, baby well, name. Well, it would be a perfect teenager name. So you're just naming the kid for one point in their life. That's our producer, Caleb Perney, playing the long game. <laughs> Waiting these baby names out. And then, and At then some they point, they go could by be... Gary later on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then, they, uh, then they're like, my friends call me Xavier, Dad. <laughs> Xavier. And then they become strippers. Anyways, I have... Oh, okay. I wanted to play a game where we uh, discuss Santa Claus because we're all big Santa fans here, I guess. <laughs> I haven't thought about it. And uh, some of the things he does are a little sketch. So this is a game called... Oh, my uncle sent the link. Santa Claus and Consent. <laughs> where we read songs about Santa Claus, which I actually couldn't find a lot, and uh, talk about the ethics behind what he's done. All right. <laughs> We're starting with Santa Claus is Coming to Town lyrics. <laughs> That's the name of the webpage. Hope he has his passport. What? Hope he has his passport. He flies high enough that he's, like, not... In the in neutral the, airspace? <laughs> yeah. And he right. still needs a passport. But then he still needs... No, once you're, like, 80 down, miles above the air, you're actually legally in Switzerland. <laughs> All right. So that a fact you made up? House eventually. I make up all my facts. <laughs> what words? I'm Fox News. <laughs> <laughs> we love politics. You better watch out. You better not cry. All right. So here's one thing. This is emotional abuse. <laughs> Do we want to talk about this? If you want to be good for Santa Claus, you actually like. It's if you're feeling sad, yeah, like that's that is right. <laughs> You have to just hold in these feelings and deal with it or else you're going to get cold, which ironically might make you watch out and cry. <laughs> which is actually, this song was the inspiration for the movie Frozen. Conceal, don't feel, don't let it show. No, no, wait, don't let them know. Don't let them know. Either way. Let it go. Right, let it go, let it go. It was like, it's in response to this song. Like, no, it's okay to cry. Is this for real? No. Oh, okay. Well, you, you've you got... That was a very also, good straight Conceal, face. don't feel. Conceal, don't feel. Is the same thing as they're saying. That's what he was... Right. But then... Then you said... But the movie itself... And welcome to the fresh to cut. <laughs> I'm Noah Parker. And I'm Noah Parker. And I'm Mitchell Hancock. And I'm Kayla Purdy. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. At least he's so explaining after, himself. Yeah, after telling you for like three lines, he's like, I'm telling... Like, like at, le at least he's like clarifying. Like, Don't worry, I'm, I'm getting to the point. He here. gives an explanation. I appreciate S that. Santa Claus is coming to town. 
So it's kind of like uh, when your mother-in-law comes to town and <laughs> and you have to be on your best behavior. Remember how we talked about unrelatable tweets, unrelatable <laughs> things people say? That was one of them. We don't have mother-in-law. You're the only one. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. A lot of people do, though, so that, that's true. Yeah. Well, maybe Uncle Anthony can relate. That's I, my mama. That's my... Okay, it's just... Okay. Never mind. It's I just, my own head. So we're watching our back for Santa Claus? He like, sounds already like he sounds you better very watch predatorial. Out. Santa Claus is coming. Maybe he's Bill Greer. <laughs> You've got... <laughs> you always... <laughs> On our Milligan radio. <laughs> All right. I'm not taking this for credit. I am. You better. I'm me, not Noah. You're graduating. I'm going to change our Twitter name to Aaron and Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> for Nog does the grades, but you were you were there. He's All making right. a lit. Oh, sorry. I was going to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's oh. making a list oh. and checking it twice. <laughs> That's thorough. efficient. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like this part. Maybe not efficient. Yeah, you know what? Could, like, could he have someone else there with him to check it while That's he's true. writing yeah, it? What are his that could be. Doing? You that don't write your book and then like read through it once and then it's published. Exactly. <laughs> Gonna find out who's naughty, gross, and nice. <laughs> what is the thing you and Corinne say? Santa Claus is <laughs> coming to town. What? Little naughties. That, that is not what it's. It's so much worse. <laughs> You have to go back to. We're not going to say because that invites our listeners to go back to our old shows. Remember, we're on YouTube, The Fresh Cut. <laughs> Aaron's dying. He sees you when you're asleep. All right, well, uh, <laughs> hit, a, hit a rough patch here after a, a decent verse. <laughs> we, are, we are now in... Stalking. I don't know if it's stalking so much as... Uh, I think it's implied that like he can he's omnip- om, omnipotent. Mm. Is he? <laughs> you know... And so he, uh, so it's possible that he just looks in your room, like when he's delivering the presents, but it's also possible that he's just supposed to like know this. Yeah. So, no, he but then over your bed all night long. In Caleb Twilight, Perny has nightmares about Santa Claus. <laughs> in Twilight, when Edward does this, everyone thinks it's romantic, but in reality, it's just stalking. Yeah. It's I'm gonna weird. be honest, Aaron. <laughs> I don't think a lot of people. <laughs> actually find Twilight that romantic. Well, when you're a teenage girl, uh, they do. And there's girls here that were teenagers that grew up, so they st- they probably still do. Did you? No, I hated Twilight. Oh. I read it when I was in middle school. Had to do that AR. Thought it was fine. What's AR? Accelerated root. Re- ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> I know. He knows when you're awake. That's just kind of logical. I'm not going to take any points away from this because if he sees you when you're sleeping, then like, right. I would assume that he'd catch like, oh, they, yeah, they their eyes are open now. <laughs> also, yeah. like daylight. No. And also, like, I know that you two are both awake right now, and that's not creepy. And you know that I'll hopefully be asleep at like four o'clock this morning. Like yes. Tomorrow morning. Hopefully, but I was not this morning at four yeah. o'clock. Actually, How long did it take for you? I believe th- the three of us I was on bed, air here. I was in bed by five. <laughs> uh, we're actually talking to each other at like two in the morning, like three, really. Yeah, because yeah. we we heard Caroline at two. Yeah, and then still we stayed can't play for that another. Really good radio. Carol, haha, Caroline. Christmas. Ooh, thank you. You are on it, Aaron Donovan. <laughs> Aaron Jonathan, I've got it, <laughs> Aaron Jonathan. <laughs> he knows if you've been bad or good. I assume. Wait, who told him? I well. Who is the judge in this? Well, he knows when you're sleeping, and 95 percent of crimes are committed at night. So. Yeah, but maybe. I feel like knowing the dormant state of someone is different <laughs> than determining whether they're morally good or bad. Because those are relative terms. That's true. They could yeah. still be doing bad things. Postmodernism. When awake. We have yeah. multiple truths. So, like, is he? Does he decide? What's good or bad? Why does he get the absolute truth? Well, he doesn't get the absolute truth, but he has his own list, and he gives the presence. So whether or not his ethics are in line with, like, absolute truth, uh, that still decides if you get presence. It's kind of like if you work at Kmart and you uh, break one of the Kmart policies. What's Kmart? So he is, he is the the judge it's on the though. North Pole. We established that, right? He decides what's good, right and wrong. Just in it, good or bad. when it comes to you're getting Christmas presents, right? right. You peasants. 
Nice so he knows. <laughs> no. I'll tell you later. So be good for goodness sake. That's a little assertive, but this is. I think the speaker is not being Santa good Claus, for so. the sake of being good. Yeah. So so be good, but also make sure you're paying attention to what Santa Claus considers good. Right. Yeah. You have to know what good is before you can be it. But it's a little, un- you know, for a guy that like takes the time to like write a list every year and check it twice, which I would assume is long if it has like you think he uses billions paste? of people. <laughs> he probably does. <laughs> He um, doesn't have that much time. He's watching all of us sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's what? Never mind. That was a dumb joke. I'm moving forward. What well, if he spells our name wrong on the list? Yeah. Donovan Do we still get those presents? Than you would think. I mean, maybe he gives you just like Fisher Price toys then. <laughs> Wait, are Fisher mean, Price toys not good? I don't know. Their brand name, True Santa Presents, are made by elves. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Like, buddy. Oh, you better watch out. (laughs) You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. You already did this. Well, it's... It comes back. (laughs) Santa Claus is coming. Santa Claus is coming. Santa Claus is coming to town. Does he have a stutter? He's, uh... (laughs) If he did, would you make fun of him? Nope. I just read. People, I have a stutter. You know, I'm not going to be hypocritical. All right, for the record, I didn't read through these, so these might not be funny. Here comes Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus, right? So this song's really focused on, like, <laughs> the actual travel <laughs> taken by Santa Claus. We can't get the, uh... It, c- it's to build up the anticipation. Yeah, but, like, I wish some of this time would go into, like, some of the actual, like, ethics in terms of, like, uh, what you should be following if you want presents. True. Right down Santa Claus yeah. Lane. A little conceited. Vixen and Blitzen, both great stripper names. And <laughs> all his reindeers. Okay, baby names. We're not supposed to start with stripper, remember? They just... Vixen? All right. <laughs> that would be a good band name. <laughs> Vix- that is a good band or, name. Or, or Blitzen Vixen is. and Blitzen. That together is one band name. And then when they yeah. break up... The musical duo. And Harry Styles yeah. is Vixen and uh, <laughs> Paul McCartney is Blitzen. <laughs> then they... They keep the separate names. And all his reindeers pulling on the reins. So already we have this aspect, I feel, of borderline slavery. At least animal cruelty. Animal, yeah. (laughs) As a vegetarian, I cannot agree with this. Yeah, I feel like PETA's going to get on him. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Yeah. They might set something on fire. I also, in my film, there's like three seconds where my dog is on the couch (laughs) with with actor Daniel. Is that, like, unethical? Because I didn't put a lot of thought into it. We just put well, Gabby the dog on the couch. It. Yeah. She went over to him and he just picked her up and she didn't fight it. I don't like your wording. <laughs> Bells are ringing, children singing, all is merry and bright. I guess that's just a fact. I don't know if he's watching them in this instance. So hang your stockings and say your prayers. Weird, uh... <laughs> Where to drop in religion on this <laughs> yeah. all of a sudden. Especially when Santa Claus, like, if anything, seems to be like taking away from like any focus on Jesus for Christmas. Especially I think this is this is probably just propaganda of the prosperity gospel. Hang your stockings and say your prayers. Say your prayers so that like do religious activities in order to gain favor and with pagan deity and, Santa Claus. And presence. <laughs> yeah. That's a really good point. Well, it's really deep though and I don't know where to go. <laughs> we don't do deep here. Yeah. You know we have a signed poster of Dave Matthews. <laughs> yeah. That's the opposite of deep. Here comes I Santa Claus. I guess that. Comes. Here comes Santa Claus. I think I did know that. Right down Santa Claus Lane. Why not left down? <laughs> Why not Rebecca Lane? That's a Milligan throwback for all you <laughs> Millies out there. He's got a bag that's filled with toys. For boys and girls, I love the <laughs> inclusivity, <laughs> although it still uh, is perpetuating the notion of a binary, but <laughs> I don't think that... <laughs> I uh, don't want to lose more listeners. Hear those sleigh bales? <laughs> bales? <laughs> sleigh bales? <laughs> it, was, it was like hay bales, but sleighs are in them. Sleigh! Sorry. Thanks, PolitiFact. <laughs> jingle jangle. Oh, what a beautiful sight. So jump in bed. <laughs> Don't go to sleep because he's watching you. And jump in bed always, and cover your head. <laughs> kids are always told, "Don't jump on the bed." Jump so, in bed and cover your head. It's like do they Halloween. listen to their parents and not jump on the bed, or do they listen to Santa and do jump on the bed? Wait, on or in? 
There's a difference. Well, who's giving us the presents? Oh my gosh. I Santa Claus. Aaron, are you okay? Who is this? I just slammed my knee against this wooden beam so hard. <laughs> Stealth in. Because Santa Claus comes tonight. <laughs> oh. Uh, nice thinking, Mitchell. But uh, as we get to verse 3 here, <laughs> here comes Santa Claus right down the lane. He doesn't care if you're rich or poor. He loves you just the same. Santa Claus what did, knows what we're I all God's... God's what is this version? I haven't heard this. Santa Claus knows we're all God's children. That makes everything right. Yeah. Prosperity so, gospel only says that you will become richer when you do the right things. But if you're not getting richer, then it seems like you're uh, not doing the right things. Job talked about that for the third day in a row. No take today. But you can still... But it, it, regardless of whether at your social status right now socioeconomic status you can still you can still get higher in socio socioeconomic status if you do whatever Santa Claus wants you to do which evidently he doesn't really tell us Santa Claus knows we're all God's children and <laughs> makes everything right I think what it's no I'm, I'm not trying to like move yeah. on I was saying uh, it seems like what Santa wants for us is is to pray <laughs> And be good Christians. So I guess the ethics are actually the Bible's ethics, but I don't yeah. know how he. I don't know if he's like a stickler for the Old Testament. Well, that's I the guess. Old covenant. Actually, uh, Santa is just a prop for parents to scare their children into submission. Oh. See, this is what I wanted when <laughs> I brought up the Santa conspiracy theory. <laughs> there are children listening, Caleb. <laughs> Santa's very real. It says so in this song. <laughs> so fill your hearts with Christmas cheer, which I guess is apparently just uh, the gospel. I always thought that was a drink. What? Christmas cheer. <laughs> well, if you're... Isn't there a song about that? Not that I'm aware of. Eggnog? No. <laughs> Maybe. Because Santa Claus comes oh, tonight. I'll figure it out. He'll come around when chimes ring out that it's Christmas morn again. Peace on earth. I thought it said pence on earth. And I was like, oh no. We'll come to all if we just follow the light. So let's... Is this, is this even rhyming in this verse? So let's give thanks to the Lord above. Because Santa... I don't hear this on the radio. Really? This is the one I always hear. Because Santa Claus comes tonight. I Maybe. Maybe I don't pay attention. I see some more Bixen and Blitzen in so the next verse. Is, is Santa being compa compared to a prophet? I think so. He's, he's not... If he's not God himself then I guess he's some sort of prophet being sent by the Lord, as the song would suggest. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it close. And then they, like, bully him. I'm Is this an to analogy? The section. No, we're on the next song. Okay. Um, oh, then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? It seems like he's using him. <laughs> I mean, he is asking permission. Like, hey, you have a gift. Can I use that gift? So maybe oh. it is exploiting, but it's consensual exploiting. Consensual exploiting. Uh, great <laughs> band name. Brand Possibly name. the best stripper name. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> and if you're a fan of toddlers and tiaras, then great baby name. Well, not really. A little false. <laughs> Did I just win this game? I think so. Is this two weeks in a row we've had a winner? Georgia Snow. We're the fresh cut is on fire. <laughs> Georgia Snow, which is good because like, it's it getting cold outside. On different levels. I hope we're not on fire. This. Radio show is on. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. And then the other songs about Santa Claus seem to be like the overtly you, um, sexual ones. Like I have, I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus here. In this case, Santa Claus is supposed to be the dad. I think. I never realized that before. until I was in college. <laughs> right. Oh, true. Yeah. Could could Santa Claus be the mom? Oh, I wasn't hoping. I saw you'd mommy. Dwell on that. I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. This has become the liberal episode of. <laughs> The fresh guy. Wait, wait. Uh, thanks for tuning in for Christmas values. We instead attacked the war on Christmas. The war on the war on Christmas. <laughs> and we have espoused values of uh, same sex marriage. And uh, what was the other thing we were talking about? 
Wait, I'm missing I mean, the strippers. I saw Molly Stripper. kissing Santa Claus. Noah said that Santa Claus is supposed to be. Well, the in father. the song, it mentions Daddy, and he said, "Or the mother." <laughs> didn't like saying oh, that, but it's still know. being kissed by Mommy. Ah. So there's two mommies. But Santa Claus possibly. is a man. Or is he? Have you seen him? Every depiction. Dun, dun, didn't you guys say you watched a documentary on him? <laughs> Did you look up um, up on the rooftop? Sorry, Caleb. Ooh, good choice. Let me look it up. I'm actually we have a book of up piano tunes that we play on our Christmas Adam rooftop. party every year, and I'm just thinking through there them. Is. I should have brought my Christmas Mad Libs. I'll Google that. <laughs> we don't have time. Do you think... Dalton will let us go over. Well, I don't, I don't know if we're like allowed to do <laughs> ma- official Mad Libs on our radio show. Well, we'll lately. call it Fresh Cut Libs. It's not like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's what we are. <laughs> Up after this episode. Mad Libs. <laughs> <laughs> Up on the rooftop, Bay house name. top... <laughs> That's Reindeer a good pause. <laughs> what? Mad libs? Mad libs? Or mad libs? Libs. Short for libtards. Sounds like. <laughs> short for. Sounds like uh, Ooh Boys on our show, <laughs> aka Sean Hannity. <laughs> aka Daniel Peacock. <laughs> what a good child of God. <laughs> Santa gave him presents. <laughs> Up on the rooftop, housetop, reindeer pause. Out jumps good old Santa Claus. <laughs> Age shaming, I think. <laughs> Down? Well, actually, <laughs> it seems to make it sound better because he's old. Like uh, like a good so wine. Millennial. Yeah. <laughs> Sean Hannity. <laughs> Down through the chimney with lots of toys, all for the little one's Christmas joy. You know, we've talked about Santa Claus on our show before. I don't remember what we said it's already. Something with Amy Long. I didn't remember it, though. Yeah, I don't think she's making it. <laughs> yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Who wouldn't go? Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Who wouldn't go, oh? <laughs> Up on the rooftop slash... Oh, it's saying rooftop slash housetop because some people say housetop and not rooftop. I was so I confused. I say housetop. Click, click, click. Down through the chimney with good Saint Nick. Did he officially get sainted? And who gives him sainthood? The I guess the Pope? Yeah. The Queen. <laughs> some rogue Pope. Wait! <laughs> Rogue no, Pope, great band name. <laughs> Wait, did I, I didn't show you this picture. Hold on. <laughs> you should trademark all these so that when somebody actually makes a name, you this can sue <laughs> The Fresh Cut's not for money, Caleb. You don't have the Christmas spirit in or, you. She's I driving don't. a Range Rover. I've never had that. I retweeted spirit. this today, but it saved this specific thing. Caleb, I don't know the what to do with post. a title card because you were here the whole episode, but you didn't sit with us, and I don't know how loud your audio is. So. I, check, I I don't know how loud it was either. Say I'll something. Say. Something. Well, you just made it louder than everything Caleb else. Caleb Perney, so. our producer, it's about time you gave us your best uh, lawnmower noise. Uh,. Except you accidentally it spun out of control and you now you are over an icy lake. <laughs> <laughs> On an icy lake spinning yeah. out of control. <laughs> All right, you can. I, laugh I, or talk. I'm I'm ashamed that I have not listened to this show regularly. It's on YouTube. <laughs> or hardly at all. <laughs> Stop insulting us and do the lawnmower sound. That sounded more like a weed bite. Yeah, I was thinking blow dryer. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good lawnmower, but is it like, uh, I don't hear the ice like I feel like your lawnmower is going to break into the lake, so there's going to be a splash. Well, it's hard enough to make the sound to begin with, much less to try to spin while doing it. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> You're spinning out of control. <laughs> so he actually just spun out of control. No, what? Have yes. Have I ever told you my really acting. funny lawnmower story? <laughs> I know you, you should tell it anyways right now because <laughs> it's the fresh cut and we're named after lawnmowers. Okay, so hypothetically, um, don't be be a nice tater. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if I was on to say the other word on the radio. So, uh, <laughs> so. Um, in the summer, in high school, I would stay home a lot by myself while my family went on vacation because I would have to work. And so one time my mom gave me the chore of mowing the lawn. You're not supposed to tell people if you're home alone when you're a kid. If they invent time travel, then like... (laughs) I was like 16. All right. Ages of like 15 to 18. Okay. So, but the lawnmower, you'd be a certain weight for it to go and I was too light for it. So I would have bricks that I would have with my lawnmower. (laughs) That way it would be heavy enough and it would drive. But one time I was mowing underneath my slide 
this actually might not be funny to anyone else, but I'm already too, it's too late. And so uh, there was a bee's nest and I accidentally ran it over. <laughs> and so I jumped off because I thought it was gonna die. But then I, yeah, it's definitely isn't funny. <laughs> I'm realizing it too late. So, uh, uh, I almost killed Aaron today. You almost died. <laughs> so then I couldn't get it to start, and I waited all week. And so my parents were coming home in like two hours, and I had not even, this was in my backyard, I hadn't even started the front yard, which is like almost a complete hill. <laughs> so I was very nervous. So I literally had to call my best friend, Dad, who was a mechanic, and have him teach me how to start a lawnmower. But I couldn't go back over because there were bees there. So I like, yeah, this isn't funny. But I got it to start, and then he told my mom. It was funny when I thought about it, but not when I said it. First out. comes the stocking of little Neil. Oh dear Santa, fit it wheel. Oh Nell, <laughs> Nell and Well. I tried to make Well rhyme with Neil. Give her a dolly that laughs and cries, which is an annoying gift. What? Like think about the parents, Santa. Laugh. Is it one of those pooping dolls? I've seen those. <laughs> One that will open and shut her eyes. That's horrifying, Santa. Wait, was she not good? Was she an atheist? Wait. The, what's the correct pronoun antecedent for this? Shut her eyes? Does the, the baby, baby sh shuts her own eyes? I was confused, too. Or the baby too. shuts the girl's it's, eyes? <laughs> I don't know. Either way, it's really creepy. So I'm guessing that this child's not espousing the Christian values that we learned in the other song that Santa is very big on. Ho, ho, ho. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> like stripper name. Next comes the stocking. <laughs> more stripper content of little wheel. <laughs> <laughs> little wheel? No, it's will. Oh, oh just to. S oh. I mean, oh, just see what a glorious fill. Here is a hammer. <laughs> what on earth, Santa? <laughs> and lots of tacks. Aggressive. Also a ball. The tax is and a whip ball. that cracks. <laughs> That's the last oh, yeah. one chorus. One time I had to go this is a strippers. weird one. <laughs> Wait, where, where's the uh, sketchy store in the mall that sells stuff? Spencer's? I one time had to go to Spencer's. And Yankee Spencer's. Candle. <laughs> I had a whip at um, Spencer's for my youth group. I was like 14 and buying a whip. <laughs> you shouldn't have been in there. <laughs> that explains so much about you go to? <laughs> Guys, earlier today, confession, uh, I didn't realize Erin wasn't wearing her seatbelt in the car, and I stopped very suddenly because she honked my corn, my corn? She, uh, she honked my horn, the car horn, and she, uh... I flew forward. <laughs> and so, but then she criticized the honking noise, so not only did she, like... <laughs> Overstretch her boundaries as the passenger, and by honking the horn, she then criticized my car. So I tried to like stop my car suddenly, and we were only going like very slow. But she still like flew through the front, not through, <laughs> flew to the front of the car from the front seat. It was uh, stressful for me. I was worried about her. Stressful I for saw you. <laughs> mommy kissing Santa Claus. My stomach. Something about mistletoe. I just laughed so hard. She didn't see me creep down the stairs to have a. Pe this is a weird child. <laughs> Uh, why do you want to watch who your mom's kissing? Then I know, This one's weird. Then I saw mommy tickle oh. Santa Claus. What is this? <laughs> Underneath his beard, so snowy white. And why does this child find this so amusing? Like, <laughs> why, uh, why does she think it's funny? If her mom, if she thinks her mom is, well, presuming that the mom and dad are still together. Maybe they aren't together and the kid's like... Maybe mom will be happy again if she remarries. <laughs> Although imagine, it seems like, like she'll have to travel a lot if she marries Santa. <laughs> like, if you're going to want a stepdad, though, like, Santa Claus would be a pretty cool stepdad, I feel yeah. like. You can get gifts all year. Yeah. Especially since he's trying to buy your love as the stepdad. But, yeah. then, but then your stepdad's hovering over you while you're sleeping. Our fans <laughs> can't hear. <laughs> oh. oh. And on that note, goodbye. You're grounded. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> this is Santa Baby. <laughs> no, I'm not going to read this one. Hey, I'm Noah Parker. I'm Noah Parker. <laughs> and I'm Aaron Donovan. And join us April 23rd for a very, very special episode of The Fresh Cut. You guessed it, our Christmas special. The it's time to finally celebrate the reason for the fresh guy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yes. Superstar. And uh, the season I'm referring to is also allergy season. So 
come and maybe we'll have some carols. Maybe please I'll don't sneeze. come. The room will actually be really full. Please just listen. Yeah, just please listen. Coming means go to milliganradio.com and listen. Don't listen on Milligan Radio the radio because then we can't see how many people are listening. We, we and need we hate to be radio. validated. Yes. To our last promo. Please validate us. We'll have guests. We'll have Santa. We won't have anything Milligan wouldn't let us have. So it should be a nice, pious Christian time. With milk and cookies. 